We're definitely not in this Subaru anymore, you know what I mean? boys we have a we had an interesting video coming today as you can tell by the title um, I'm extremely excited I've seen this car before like a really long time ago and I just completely forgot about it and finally we are able to link up I hit him up literally like yesterday or two days ago and he was down to shoot so yes we will be shooting a BMW big turbo swapped Deb Rex it's gonna be good so I just made it out to the shoot location that we're going to be shooting that BMW swapped Subaru WRX. So unfortunately I have no service. So I'm really hoping that uh, the directions went through and he can actually find me here. So we're just going to go ahead and wait it out. He should be showing up pretty soon. I'm excited. There he is boys. Oh I am so excited. Sorry in advance for the immense amount of wind noise in these next clips. I tried to edit out some parts that were just so blown out because of the wind. Um, so I just want to apologize. There is going to be a lot of wind in this section of the video, but it does get better throughout. So this next couple of minutes of the interview part, I got as much information as I could that wasn't blown out because of the wind but I just wanted to add this clip in just to apologize for the fact that the wind is very annoying and it kind of sucks, but it is what it is. So keep enjoying the video. So we finally made it out here to the car that we have of course all been waiting for. It is a, what is it, M52? Is that what it is? M52. M52, so is that E36 or 46? E36. E36, yeah. straight six with a big old turbo on it. Hell yes. I guess my, my number one question is, what was the inspiration? Why no more Subaru? Why'd you go straight six? Everyone is dying to know this. They might start hating you or loving you, but we need to know. So, I had a built STI motor in it, and then what happened was that started making some funny noises, you know, as most of them do. Of course. And uh, I called a buddy of mine who owns like an E28 and an E24 BMW. And I was like, yo, dude, what do I need to do? Because my car is basically screwed. And he was like, put a BMW motor in it. And I jokingly, think he was kidding. jokingly. And then you're like, yeah, okay, and then so I was like, do it. I was like, oh, sure. <laughs> so he called a friend of his and, you know, he parts out like BMW and stuff like that. And he was like, yeah, dude, I have uh, an M50 for like 200 bucks. And I was like, I'm there. So, yep. Not knowing what was ahead, of course. Nope. I had no and then Perfect. I knew I wanted it to be boosted. Um, and I knew that just in terms of like initial investment, yeah. the M fifty two is so much lower than like, the M fifty two. So what would you say is like your favorite thing about the car? Now that you said I mean like, pretty recently you're kinda of dialing in all the bugs of course because well, it's not supposed to be in there, but you made it go in there. <laughs> so what's like your number one thing? It's a toss up between opening the hood yep and you know seeing the expression on people's faces of and course. honestly the expression on my own face is just every time i open the hood it's just you're just like i kind of wish i, I kind of wish i got your reaction because when he did it when you did it you're just like a little and then you're like oh, like i almost heard it it was like angels singing oh my god it's freaking fantastic so this is the steering wheel we're talking about obviously our generations never came with the button controls but not only is there actually buttons, they work. they work. That is so sick. Did you have any issues making the transmission like that? 
it's somehow it's very it's, it's very Frankenstein. W motor, BMW transmission, drive shaft, which is custom but uses Chevy U joints. Weird. And then it goes into a Nissan R two hundred that's in a TSS uh, rear wheel drive Subaru subframe. Uh, we got Frankenstein. We'll try. We'll try to look under there. There we go. It's, it's a actually lot pretty clean. Than Subaru did. Oh, it's significantly bigger. Damn. The most important thing is to have, you know, like a fabricator yeah. that you trust and that is used to doing Custom weird stuff. and crazy things. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the fabricator that helped or that really put this together initially um, was this guy that opened a shop called Limitless. If not for him, if not for, you know, Alex over there, uh, this car would not have happened the way it, it did. I mean, just of course, anything custom like this, you're gonna need a great friend or a great fabricator for sure to get you through it. So obviously, like I said, there's a bunch of little custom stuff in this car, including the shifter, which, wait, what was the company? It was IRP. IRP, in the reverse lockout, you literally press this down. That's so sick. You, you just have to one up everyone, is what you're doing. That's what exactly what you're doing. And then I blacked oh out the, the center console trim. Oh, and, shit. Uh, I didn't, I was too cheap to spend the money on the JDM uh, hazard button. So you so made one. That's or actually, just... that's the original hazard button. But what, what happens is if you sand it and polish it, yeah, it's red underneath the gray. Shut up. So I, I took some like super high, uh, like grit sandpaper yeah. it, and then some like plastic specific polish yeah. and just polished the shit out of it. Now it's super shiny and super nice. <laughs> that is hilarious. Now I have to do that. That who told you that? You just started standing. I it. think I I think I like scrolled past it like some on some forum somewhere. Yeah. And you're like, hey, it's actually red. Yeah. Oh my god. It just happens to have a Subaru around it. Tire smoke. Tire smoke, maybe a little clutch. It's delicious. I talk and we're not shouting. It's actually not bad at all. It's like yeah. super smooth. Especially because you have like those big meaty tires, like yeah. road noise is like nothing. Yeah. But then you just. And then you're just like, wait, what is that large vacuum? You're. 
I don't, it doesn't even feel rear wheel drive in a turn almost. You know what I mean? Like you could push it so hard. It's, it definitely feels slightly different. It is really weird. But it's yeah. not like it's like, Aah! you know what I mean? Like yeah. it's not all over the place. Well, so when the car was first put together, um, the only thing that Limitless had just, you know, on hand yeah. was a welded dip. Sketch. That was sketch. Oh, yeah. The, so it was in here. Well, it was, dip. yeah. So for like a couple months, I yeah. was driving around with this, with a welded dip. Like, <laughs> yeah. Just like everywhere. Thank God that was, that was before it got tuned. So yeah. it was super, just like super slow and whatever. Yeah. But even just like that, driving around, it just wanted to break loose all the time. I would just think my car's breaking down like <laughs> constantly. Like, it so does. Sketchy. I mean, honestly, driving around with a welded diff does make you feel like your car's broken. Yeah. That's I my mean, opinion. It's like I'm, hopping everywhere. I'm sure 240 people are going to be like, yeah. no, it's not. It's fine. Whatever. No. It's no. Not. You can hear them everywhere. Like at my school, all you heard, you're yep. just like, okay, you're just get a, get a limited slice. Yeah, yeah, get an it's LSD. A, it's a good investment. One more time for everyone. It's so satisfying every time. It is. It, what, what, what would you do? A nightmare of yours would be popping the hood and then it's a Subaru engine. That would be a nightmare. That would actually be a nightmare. <laughs> oh my god. Well, I think that's pretty much going to be it for this video. I had a super, super good time. If you have any questions, make sure you comment down below. I will try to get them answered. Anything else you want to add on the car? Did we miss anything? It's just epic. The whole thing is just epic super super awesome so of course i'm gonna have uh his instagram and you have no other really socials right instagram maybe instagram, facebook I have, actually i have a page on like millwell okay. that i made before they did all that stupid marketing stuff yeah. um but it has literally my entire like build list that is perfect parts. i'm sure people would yeah. love that so definitely you'll, you'll send me that yeah. send me that over i'll put that down below of course his instagram as well 100% give him a follow and if you want to see him on the channel again make sure you let me know as always I hope you guys enjoyed we're gonna catch you guys on the next one peace out